Hi everyone. When we are working on data, which includes dates, we need to calculate the difference in dates and have to group the data. In this video, I will share how you can quickly categorize the data in different groups to create pivot table or charts, which will help you to analyze the data in detail. So watch the video till end. Now in this Excel, we have open ticket data based on priority, ticket straight, and the open date. First, we will prepare the data before analyzing. So convert the data into tables, select any cell and press Ctrl T to create the data into table. As we have headers, this option should be selected. So click OK. The data is converted into table. Now to calculate the aging, add a new column aging now it is the part of the table to calculate the aging we will use let and ifs method you can learn this method in detail the link of videos are given in the description so select cell and type equals to let open bracket now the first parameter is the variable name here i am using variable age comma and the value of age would be difference between today's date and open date which is in column D select cell D2 comma type ifs and in logical statements we will use variable age so if age is greater than 90 the group will be 90 plus days comma if age is greater than 60 comma the group name will be 61 to 90 days the third condition is age is greater than 30 the group name would be 31 to 60 days similarly you can create the other groups as per your requirement after all conditional statements and corresponding value close the ifs and let function press enter and column e will display the aging group and it is based on the difference in today's date and open date. now the aging data is prepared now for analysis we will prepare the pivot table and charts so select any cell in the data go to insert menu and click on pivot table option now in pivot table from table or range dialog new worksheet is already selected click on ok button and it will open a new sheet now to show the data based on state move the state in columns area move the aging in rows area and the number in values area now go to design tab and you can change the design of the pivot table now similarly you can create another pivot table based on ticket priority so you can select pivot table press ctrl c ctrl v remove the state one state option and move ticket priority to columns area now the data is available based on priority of the incidents to create the chart select any cell in the pivot table go to the insert menu click on recommended charts and uh, you can select any option i am selecting 3d straight column click ok and it will create a chart for you right click and select hide all field buttons on chart click on the chart element plus sign in the legends select bottom option to if you want to show the data you can select data labels and in this way you can create the chart and pivot table based on aging of the data if you like the content Press thumbs up and share with your friends and colleagues. Subscribe the channel and press bell icon to get the notification of new videos.
thanks for watching